do another vlog. This is actually going to be one on my hardcore Iron Man, so I wanted to just tell you guys that for any of you who don't want to see any spoilers for the next hardcore Iron Man progress video, you can just put this video in the background. I'm not actually going to be showing anything on the screen, but I am just doing some skilling on my hardcore Iron Man in this video because um, that's just what I was doing when I saw the update and I wanted to talk about it, so I'm just going to be doing it on my hardcore Iron Man. There are going to be a few spoilers if you just even just look at what I'm doing, so just be aware of that. Uh, and if you don't want to see him, you can just go ahead and uh, put this video in the background because it's pretty much just going to be me talking as opposed to really showing anything. So yeah, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and put the actual game on screen now. So you have been warned, and here we go. So. This is what uh, I want to talk about today is the new update that just came out uh, very recently. It might, might have it's only been like a few hours. I apologize if there's like a little edge of, of something poking off the screen if you're actually watching because um, I, I didn't have it fully lined up. Um, but like I was saying, uh, the new update came out today. Finally, the new boss next, the Angel of Death, which is. Uh, pretty interesting little uh, name for it. I don't know really why uh, they're... it's kinda weird the way they're doing like shadow versions of bosses uh, as well as like Rise of the Six and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I was just uh, pulling it up right now. I was watching some CSGO. If, uh, but it, yeah, wanted to pull up the the drops and stuff. So there are some pretty interesting drops. Um, one thing you do have to get for the master quest cape, there's a new master quest cape requirement. You have to kill the boss at least once and um, you'll get these two books that you need to read in order to get a uh, master quest cape requirement. So looks like I'm not going to be getting the master quest cape anytime soon even if I could do all the quests on my hardcore Iron Man at the moment. Um, I definitely can't kill this boss because it's actually... Uh, higher difficulty than I thought it was going to be slated for, considering Nex itself isn't that hard. But uh, the new fight is actually—it says on the uh, on the wiki that it's it's basically around the same level as Yakamaru or Virago hard mode. So that is a that's the difficulty level of it. So d definitely a very challenging new boss, I guess. So definitely not going to be able to do that on this account for a while. Um, well, maybe not for a while. I mean, I do. Uh, I, I am going to get my ports armor soon-ish. Since I mean, I am in the Jade region, but yeah, still going to be a while regardless. But like I said, that is one of the 100% drops you get. I think if you the the drops for this boss are interesting because there it, it splits the drops in a very strange way. Um, the top two players who tank the most damage from the boss get uh, drops from the main table as well as the top three players who dealt the most damage get drops from the main table and then there's an, a separate drop table called the like it's like the participation drop table even though you didn't do the most DPS or the mo do tank the most um, the next the next five players like the next five players in the top eight of DPS get the get a drop from the participation table so it's definitely an interesting way to do it, but it sounds like it's it's smart because you know if you do the more, if you do more damage, you get more re rewards, or if you tank more, you get more rewards. So it sounds like a good way of doing it. It's just a little confusing at at first to uh, to look at, but it definitely sounds pretty cool, and um, I'm sure it would be. It's it's a pretty good way of doing it, uh, regardless. Uh, so the vital role, which is what they call the ones who get the top two tank or top three damage, have uh, not too much better of regular drops, like the regular drops are pretty standard across uh, both tables, but if you don't get the um, if you don't get the top five dr uh, for the for the vital roll drops, you are unable to get the books, which is unfortunate for people who are trying to get them, and you're also unable to get any of the rare drops, like the good uh, the good drops are going to be worth a lot. Like um, the there's two new weapons, which I didn't actually know. I thought they were just coming out with the new prayers, but there are two new weapons. Which um, well, I guess it's, it's it's like a dual wheel. It's a set, a dual wield set of weapons. 
uh, level 92, just like Telos drops, and it's uh, a wand and an orb. So that's pretty interesting. I'm kind of interested to see how much they're going to be and if that's going to drive the price down of the Staff of Sliske or not, because these things sound like they're going to be far easier to get than the Staff of Sliske because, of course, you have to get the three pieces of the Staff of Sliske and, like, the dormant part of it or whatever, kind of like a Raxor. Um, but these are just straight up drops. You just get the wand or you get the orb, uh, which is uh, kind of a kind of interesting that they would do that because that might uh, really drive down the price of this staff from Telos. But I'm not sure. I mean, you'll have to wait and see. I, I I'm not going to complain myself because if I'm going to be trying to get one of these low, high level weapons on my main account at some point, uh, you know, it'd be nice that they've gone down before I purchase them. But I mean, of course, they're always going to go down over time as new weapons are released, etc. Uh, you also don't have the chance to get the pet drop after uh, if you don't get the vital roll, which is kind of strange. I guess the kill count will still probably count for your threshold, which is, uh, I guess, fine. So it's not the huge deal. Um, and then you also have the chance to get the Praesel. I don't know how you say that word, but the Praesel Codex, which is how you unlock the new curses. And there are three new curses, which are... Um, called Malevolence, Desolation, and Affliction. Pretty cool names there. Um, and basically what they are are overhead prayers, which is interesting because they haven't released overhead prayers, I think, since Soul Split, as far as I know. Um, but, yeah, it, they are overhead prayers, and I can't show them on this account because I don't have curses. But Basically, they are level 99 prayer required, so you have to be level 99 in the skill to even be able to use the prayers to begin with, and um, they basically are stronger versions of the turmoil prayers, so it's going to be interesting to see how these end up working out. It's kind of lame that they're overhead prayers, but again, I guess it's kind of to balance the fact that they are better versions of turmoil, soul, uh, turmoil anguish, and I think it's torment is the other one. Not 100% on that, but uh, I guess it's to balance that fact. But since you can't use them with Soul Split, um, I feel like they're not going to be as good at, at a lot of places. Uh, I'm not really 100% sure where you would really want to use these, besides at maybe at like high, high level bosses where you, but usually you end up needing to tank more and using protection prayers. As far as I know, I don't really know much about. Uh, Yakamaru and like Virago and stuff like that. I don't know how much about what prayers you actually end up using, but it really depends on how much damage these things actually end up increasing uh, to the regular turmoil prayer by. Because if it's not that much, then I doubt they're going to really be used too much, um, and the book isn't really going to be worth that much. And naturally, over time, the book is going to go down in price because it's it's a single unlock. I mean, you can you pick which prayer you want. So you basically, once you have three books on your one account, you have all the prayers and you never need that book ever again. So it's not like uh, gear or anything that people could buy and sell back. Like you buy it once, well, you buy it three times, I guess, and then you never ever buy it again on your account pretty much. So it's naturally going to go down in price kind of like the, um, the Telos... No, not the Telos, the Raids uh, Ability Codex books. Those uh, obviously went down in price over time as people had the more people bought it and had the ability and never not needed to buy it again. Same idea applies here. So, yeah, um, kind of an interesting concept. Um, I'm interested to see videos on uh, the prayers, I guess, because uh, I'm not going to be buying one on my main account or anything because obviously, A, I'm not 99 prayer. And B, I don't really have the money to spend on something like that. Plus, it's probably super expensive at the moment because people are hyped to try out the new prayer. Um, and, yeah, stuff like that. So, kind of interesting. I'm not sure if uh, they're going to be good or not, but probably not going to be having them for a long time anyway. So, it's not a huge deal for me, but it'll be. I'm, I'm definitely going to be on the lookout for some videos on those new prayers. Um, and yeah, and then there's the pet drop again, as I said, the blood tentacle. I'm assuming it's the pet drop. It doesn't actually say it is, but I mean, obviously that's, that is, it's not going to be any sort of regular drop. 
Yeah, it is. And uh, it actually is a 1 out of 3,000 drop rate, which is kind of high, as well as the threshold is 1,000, which is really high, I, I thought. But um, I don't know. That is pretty crazy for the threshold of 1,000 on such a, like, a, ha a hard boss. Uh, I'm not sure if like Virago has a high threshold as well or anything, but still, I'm, I'm actually going to go check really quick just to see. Uh, da, 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 da. This is Vitalis is, is different, I think. Um, okay, I'm not a hundred percent sure what uh, which one of these is even the Virago pet. Um, the Bombi pet, I guess, is the one, or is it? Okay, I I have no idea. Never mind. Virago is weird, so I don't I don't know how the pet works there exactly, but. Still, uh, that seems like a high drop chance for the pet one out of three thousand with a one thousand, um, with a one thousand threshold. But you know, maybe it's uh, a little less than uh, what the raids drops are. I don't know if the raids even have pets, but either way, it still seems a little high. Um, I mean, like the Telos. I'm looking right now. The Telos one is only one out of one thousand four hundred or only one out of 700 if it's plus uh, it's a hundred percent in rage or greater and it only has a threshold of 300 so you know it's uh it's up in the air but it seems like it's pretty rare to me um but yeah the main gripe i really have about this boss even though i can't do it is it basically looks the same as next based off of the pictures in game if you go to your beasts tab you can look at Nex uh, and the Angel of Death as well, um, and it just shows that they're they're literally the same exact thing, except the Angel of Death one looks a little bit brighter. So that's kind of lame. I really wish they had done a little bit, put a little bit more effort into actually redesigning what the boss looks like. But as long as I guess as long as the mechanics are cool and like totally different and everything, it's it's a little bit okay but I still I think it's kinda lame that they did that but what are you gonna do really I guess they can um, maybe update it in the future but I guess it is supposed to be similar to Barrow's Rise of the Six and the Barrow's Brothers technically look the same but they are like purple and like in shadow form and the the this neck the, the Angel of Death next is literally just like a couple shades brighter so it's kind of uh, kinda lame uh, but you know not the hugest deal, uh, just a little bit of a complaint from me. Wish they would have done a little bit more on the design of the boss itself. But um, yeah, other than that, I mean, that's basically it from the um, from the perspective of the update. It's just the new boss this week. There wasn't really anything else important that came out. A couple of NZX or N NXT fixes, I guess, which are good. Um, but yeah, unfortunately I can't do the boss, so no videos on it from me at the moment, but probably going to have a new video on my main account a little in the, in the future, a little bit. But uh, I did just finish the event on both my accounts, which was nice. Uh, I got all the stuff unlocked from the Phantom Doubloons or whatever. Um, I always like to do those every every time, they, like the, those events, like uh, the Birth by Fire and then this one, because... As far as I know, you're never going to be able to get that stuff again, so definitely want to try and grab it while it is available. And I did finish it on both my accounts, which was nice. Uh, I have been playing on the Hardcore Iron Man a little bit more now because I have uh, an altered sort of goal in mind from what I was go uh, trying to go for in the past. And you guys will see what that is in the next Hardcore Iron Man video, which hopefully will be out in, uh, before too long. Um, I am nearly to my goal so I am gonna be having a uh, a new video on there pretty soon hopefully and by my goal I do not mean 95 prayer not quite near that yet but that is my big goal I'm almost near my sub goal so hopefully I can get there before uh, too long and I'll have a new hardcore Iron Man progress video then but yeah other than that you guys let me know what you think of the update um, and if you can do the boss let me know how it is, and if you get any lucky drops, um, good luck for those of you that are doing it. Um, hopefully it doesn't take too long for people to figure out how to kill it effectively, 
like Virago, which took like almost a whole day as far as I remember. But yeah, interested to see how prices are affected by the new wand and orb drops as well as the new prayers effectiveness as well. So we'll see how that goes. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Peace.